For Engineering News, I'm Sashni Mudli, here with Angus McArthur of Alcohol Breathalyzers to speak about the entrance breathalyzer system. Hi, Angus. Hi, Sashni. What exactly are some of the challenges that companies face that require them to install this entrance breathalyzer system? South African companies are faced with a number of issues relating to alcohol in the workplace, where employees arrive intoxicated. Now, the risks involved of having workers, mine workers, uh, train operators, truck drivers, etc., driving your vehicles under the influence of alcohol are huge. Just looking at the statistics in South Africa relating to road traffic crashes, uh, the stats show that there's a massive problem in South Africa. One accident in a, in a workplace can cost millions of rands and, and therefore companies have no choice but to enforce zero tolerance of alcohol in the workplace. Uh, the entrance breathalyzer system is a, is, a, is a machine which can assist companies to enforce zero tolerance of alcohol without a human being having to conduct the alcohol testing. So um, it, it's a huge step forward in, in the process of uh, conducting um, alcohol testing, ensuring that the workplace is healthy and safe. Can you explain what the field sensor technology is that is used in the manufacturing of the entrance breathalyzer system? The electrochemical fuel cell sensor, which is present in many of the industrial breathalyzers that are used, um, is, a, is an alcohol sensor which is specifically testing for ethanol. So uh, whereas before with a um, semiconductor alcohol tester, uh, you would, uh, the, the sensor could detect other substances in the breath, such as uh, menthol and, and substances with a high sugar content uh, or smoke might give a, a reading. Whereas your uh, electrochemical fuel cell sensor is specifically testing for ethanol and um, thereby uh, reducing the number of false positives. The other benefit uh, of the electrochemical fuel cell sensor that's used in these machines is a longer calibration cycle. Um, just looking at some of our sites where we've implemented these machines, um, where we expected the calibration cycle uh, to last roughly 5,000 tests, we've seen accurate results uh, to over 12,000 tests. Um, and on uh, testing with calibration equipment, we've seen uh, accurate results. Yeah. Angus, thank you very much for your time today. It's a pleasure, Sashni. For Engineering News, I'm Sashni Woodley.